up about my Forex funds and what's going on. And I had mentioned that I hadn't seen anything from the SEC yet, which I still haven't. But today's video, I wanna talk about the Ontario Securities Commission and talk about what they are alleging is going on, which is really important for my comment that I made in the last video that got a little bit of scrutiny where people were like, that's not true, that's real money. When I said, hey, you guys aren't playing with real money, it's all fake, it's all a sandbox. I wanna talk about that in today's video. Let's pop over to the computer here. So now that we're on the computer here, this is a, uh, a full document that is the temporary order. And this is from the Ontario Securities Commission. And I just wanna read a couple different things of this temporary order that I think are really important to understand. Um, and, and by the way, just so you guys know, there it is saying Traders Global Group, but it's doing business as my Forex fund. So just so you guys know, that's the legal entity of my Forex funds. And of course, then the person that runs it. So he is, the principal in Ontario. And let's just read down the line items. I just wanna show you some of the stuff. It'll really start to be an eye-opening thing for you guys that are experiencing prop firms for the first time, or maybe you're thinking that you're actually getting real money, which I've been saying you're not. So let's look at line C. For the majority of my Forex funds investors, trading is simulated by TGG with various rules in place designed to benefit TGG to the detriment of investors. Let's keep going before we make comments. TGG and Cosme may have used money received from investors to pay simulated profits to other investors and for Cosme's personal expenses. Now this is big because if they can prove that he took money from investors and then used it for personal expenses as well as paying off other investors. Can you guys name what they call something where you would take in profits or take in money just to pay back other investors? Does anybody know? Can anybody comment what that's called? Whether you're watching this in the premiere, whether you're watching this on replay on, on, on YouTube right now, what is that called? Sounds to me like a, dare I say, Ponzi scheme, if I've never heard of one. Keeping going, TGG and Cosme are continuing to raise funds from investors. TGG and Cosme may have engaged in conduct that perpetrates a fraud and breach of subsection. Okay, and we'll keep going because I don't have that right now. TGG may be engaged in business of trading its securities without registration, which this is basically why we thought they were getting tagged because they're, they're, they're being conducted under a business and trading securities without registration. So that's why they're getting tagged. At least that's what we thought. But this, of course, layer D is a big deal right here. HTGG may have distributed, uh, distributed securities without filing a prospectus contrary to subsection in 531. TGG and Cosby may have provided false and misleading information to the commission, that's big. The commission is conducting an investigation into the conduct described above. The commission is of the opinion that the time required to conclude a hearing could be uh, prejudicial, pre excuse me, to the public interest to set out. And the commission is of opinion that it's public interest to make this order. Okay, and this was again the 29th. I'm finally seeing this now. Again, I'm still waiting. If you guys can, if can find something from the SEC in the United States, let me know. Uh, I haven't found anything yet. And shall cease, their, their trading shall cease. Trading in securities by TGG or any person on their behalf included but, but, but not limited to any act, advertisement, solicitation, conduct, negotiation directly or indirectly shall cease. Anybody related to them shall cease. Pursuant to clause three, any exemptions contained in Ontario securities do not apply to TGG. And pursuant to this act, this order shall take effect immediately and shall expire 15th day after making uh, unless extended. So right now they've got 15 days. So just before September 15th, they've got, we had, tw um, we had 31 days in August. So we're looking at September 13th. They've got to make something happen we also heard about a hearing on September 11, but I go back right here. And guess what? How many prop firms are acting like this right now? Let's be honest. How many prop firms are being run by people that have no idea what they're doing, 
and they're just taking all the money. They're putting up simulated where it says live, but all you guys, now you know that it's actually a demo account. And then they're just paying people off with sign up signups. <sighs> Sounds like a Ponzi. I don't know. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on it. As usual, trying to provide a third party. I don't, use, I don't use prop firms. I don't do any of this. I trade with my own money and my own account. That's it. I think that's the way to go. I've always said that. But I'm interested to hear your guys' opinion about this. This is a bombshell PDF that I don't think a lot of people are talking about on YouTube yet. Let me know what you guys think. Is this all a just attack for no reason that uh, people are claiming this is just a way for the government to tax more? There's a lot of different things that people are thinking, or is this legit? Let me know in the comments section. This is getting interesting. We'll talk more when I know more. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.